Hi guys, how you guys doing? Just waiting for more people to join, and then we can go on from that. So how's your Sunday doing guys? Um let me see, I'm just gonna wave it everyone. A hey, wave 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 Okay so um afternoon guys sunday afternoon how you guys do it i hope you guys are good so yeah i'm gonna take it from there it is when 50 people join and i'm gonna start with the live video ah, getting a bit cold the side so yeah I'm just waving 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 at everyone just waving and waving and waving then we can start from there so do we have any forex traders in the room do we got any forex traders in the room doesn't matter if you're a beginner or you are an advanced trader long time where you been i've been around man it's not long that i'm off i don't know if this is the perfect view for for you guys to see or should i get a better view we got 50 people now in the live video. There's more and more and more and more and more. Let me just switch this off. Let me switch that off. So, how you guys are uh, planning on killing the week? Oh, you guys haven't planned yet. Yeah, okay, we do have forex traders in the room. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just this is more people coming. Let me just wave, wave. Wave, wave, <coughs> mm, wave, wave. So, yeah, guys, um, as I've posted, I think it was yesterday that I'm gonna make a live video today. Um, because there's someone who actually came up to me and asked me something that's very important that most of the people that start, uh, trading now or i don't know they've been trading and failing ask themselves so i'm just gonna give you guys a thought and then you guys can ask me more questions based on what you want to know about the market as well free session guys <laughs> can ask okay so yeah people are getting there people are getting there okay so the main topic here is when is your breaking point when you are a beginner trader? When do you know and when do you know that you are making progress or you are getting there if you're a beginner trader? Do you see by results of the amount of money that you make or what? Because there's some people that have actually been trading for a bit while now and they're not seeing that 
uh, that breaking point that I'm talking about. When are you going to start with your YouTube channel? Um, I think before, during this week. During this week, I'm going to announce it as well. So, yeah. Uh, a lot of people actually ask me. A lot of people. I know most of the people that follow me are beginner traders um, and advanced traders as well. So, this is just going to be a topic for us traders maybe. And then maybe a couple of... Um, other topics as well on the site so i'm gonna start now by can i ask how many people do i have on this live video that actually have a problem and they always asking themselves they've tried different strategies they've tried literally tried everything in trading and they're still asking themselves now when is their breaking point do we have any people like that on this live video so I can know what type of people that I'm speaking to. Okay, I see about two people, two comments now. The third one. Comment, comment me. Just say me, 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 me. And I'll know that I have enough people um, that I'm speaking to that have been trading before. They tried different strategies, went to different institutions, um, and they're still failing. And I think I know, I think I know, even though I'm not your mentor, but I think I know um, what your problem is. I just want to know, can you guys hear me clearly? Can you guys see me clearly as well? So, yeah, and I'm going to start by explaining from there what your problem might be. All right? Okay. So, um, I see there's a lot of me's now. <laughs> okay. I see there's a lot of me's now. I see there's a lot of me's now. I see there's a lot of people that's actually struggling, right? So I'm just going to give you guys a couple of advices. Then you can decide if you can take it from there to wherever that you want to go. We can hear you clearly. We can see you clearly. Perfect. Okay. So problem the first problem that i'm going to be talking about is people that trade without having a trading plan it can be one of the most difficult things to do if you're a beginner trader unless you if you're an advanced trader and you already know your trading plan off your head it's going to be much more easier to know your targets depending of you swinging or you are scalping the market right okay so secondly i'm gonna be uh, explaining to you guys what can you do to your mind um to simply become better in your trading and the best thing that you can do to reduce the emotions the amount of emotions that's being involved whenever you trade in the market or whenever you are in a trade or before you in a trade or if you after a trade right maybe some of us need to hear the proper words and that might open doors for us yeah that's that's the main purpose of this live video to help um maybe i can help some some of you guys on um, how to improve that okay the first thing that you need to do, the first thing that you need to know when you're getting on your trading account is that the simplest thing you can do to start becoming better with your trading results is there's two things that you, you first need to do. Number one, you need to start putting more time in analyzing, right? So basically analyzing uh, for me is the most important thing when it comes to an execution order because analyzing most of your time need to be spent on analyzing not in a trade this is one mistake um, most people do is that someone will just go on a laptop uh, in less than five minutes there's gonna already be a trade that has been executed so you need to put more time on your analyzing uh, trying to understand the currency pairs that you're trading or the in dice or whatever that you're trading number two 
is that you need to care less. Care less. That's the most simplest thing. The minute I cared a bit less than what I used to uh, care about before, that's the minute that I actually saw started seeing results on 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 my trading because when you care more that's actually when your risk becomes a bit higher because you the minute that you're caring it's either that you're caring of the return that you are going to get from that trade not mainly looking at the percentage that you might be risking of your trading account on a trade so care less guys care less simple as that care less so caring less means that whether uh your trading account is gonna make you money or not but you're still gonna be working on it simple as that you guys need to understand that the, the influence that you see on social media can be very very risky for your psychological part of trading as you will not be looking at trading with the same eye that you are that you're supposed to look at it right so everyone goes through a phase where you're going to start blowing your accounts um obviously you have to blow one account or two just so you can learn how to risk properly unless you're i don't know you are someone that don't have emotions right we will all need to blow an account as a lesson in the market um yeah so guys care less whenever you you go on a trade you need to understand the reason why you're going behind that trade is to understand the markets a bit more and to uh, apply the strategy that you have been taught or that you taught that you have taught yourself right so you guys need to care less simple as that care less in the market care less in the market I repeat care less in the market the minute you start caring less is the minute that you're gonna start applying everything in the way that you're supposed to be applying it right because now when you're caring too much about your trading account your emotions get in the way um to a point where you're gonna start making a lot of mistakes in the market uh because of the mind that you have um how can I say the return that you're looking to get out of a trade should not be the main thing of why you're actually taking a trade unless you are obviously a consistent trader already but as a beginner trader I simply say that guys um, care less about the trades that you are taking right so whether you, your trade is gonna go what way care less about that yeah you need to care less about that thank you it's actually on 20 percent you need to care less about that so that your trading can become much more better the minute that i cared less about the trades that i'm taking is the moment that my emotions were less involved in the market and more skill was applied um in the market so the problem is that you guys are too focused. You guys are too focused on the influence that you are getting on social media to a point where your um where your 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 you so influenced to a point where your trading is no more calculated, your trading is no more analyzed. You just go on to the market the minute you execute an order. You're thinking about how much you can make from that order you're thinking about how much can, how much more profits can you make if you if you if you place another order that's the that's the problem that we have in the market so I say you guys need to care less uh, in try your best to spend less emotion in the market so that your trading results can become much more better trust me the minute that you do that the first month that you are going to be doing that it's going to apply much more better do you understand so care less about your trading account not about your trading account but mainly care less about the trades that you take on your trading account right your trading account you, sh you should be obviously putting a lot more effort on that 
uh, but the, the trades that you were taking remember something guys that in forex trading we're using platforms it's basically automated stuff you, you're not doing uh, the, the type of trading that we're doing is manually, I know, but the, the only thing, the only effort that you have to put in a trade is a click of a button. So it's not like you're going to go into a trade and you're going to hold the currency pair and pull it down if you want it to be pulled down, or you're going to push it up, up if you want it to go up, depending on if you bought or sold. So what I'm saying is that, guys, you need to care less because you're not the control of the market. Uh... What I can simply say is that in trading, we, 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 we don't have a surety. We have prediction in the market, right? So, um, with the type of mindset that you need to have so that your trading account can grow, is that you need to, um, you need to first, before you get into Forex trading, even for the people that are not in Forex trading now, they just follow me because maybe they like... I don't know whatever the way I, the things that I post about and whatsoever. What I can simply say is that in order for you to know that you are right, you are the right person, or you have the right um, personality to get into the market. Is ask yourself with the little things that you do before you knew about forex trading, before you were influenced by a couple of people, your character on its own. When it comes based to money, how is your character? Because remember, in trading, we got a market that's trading over five trillion dollars per day, which is a lot more. So that's a that's a lot of money. You need to ask yourself, what the type of person that you are? Are you someone that's patient enough and willing to risk your whole life? Um, on trading or are you only taking trading because of you heard of your friend you heard of uh, someone said okay this guy has been trading he's made a lot of money he, he left school his lifestyle is now he's living a lavish lifestyle or what so there should be reasons behind your reason for trading remember guys trading is is it's it's very easy right because you just click a button but the thing that is very hard in trading is basic it's, it's your side uh the psychological part of trading that's the most hardest which can lead to stress uh which can lead to wrong decision making due to the fact that too much emotion is involved in the market so guys just know when you are a trader the business that you're in is the business that you are in as a trader is, is as normal as any business that you can be even if you're not a trader, right? Because why? Uh, there is a calculated risk that you were supposed to take uh, so that you can get a return out of it, right? Just, just like any other business. Before a business make profit, they first put in capital, right? Before they can get something out. So you need to... When you're getting in trading, guys, trading is not a game, number one. That's one thing I'd like to say to you guys. You guys need to know. I've met young guys as, as, as my age as well. I've met all the people that come into the market with the wrong perspective. And that's the people that, that's never going to make it in trading. I'm just going to be honest. They're never going to make it in trading because why? They don't have the right mindset to become a forex trader. That's why in order for you to become a trader, you need to build your mind up first before you become a trader. Because you will not be a trader that makes, uh, yeah, that, that makes stupid money. There's nothing like that, right? You need to build your mind up. You need to be patient enough. To a point where if you're trading a account, 50% of your profit that you actually invested in the market in the next coming three months, are you still going to be a forex trader by then, right? The thing is people give themselves a certain target and say, I'm going to get into forex trading in the next coming seven months. I'm going to be driving a Mercedes Benz or I'm going to be driving a BMW. That's the problem. Already your mind is away from the main reason and how you're gonna get to trade how how you're gonna get to becoming cons a consistent trader right so invest most of your time most importantly time is very important thing guys 
invest most of your time in learning and not returns i can simply say that invest most of your time in learning than returns so don't focus too much on the outcome but focus a lot on the uh on the on, on the input because why the most important thing guys is not what you're gonna get out the most important thing is what you put in what you put in gets you what you're gonna get out you understand so with the little effort and more emotions that you put in the market that's the same emotions that you are gonna get out of the market right if you're going in the market with aggression you're gonna get aggression out of the market if you're going in the market with greed you're gonna get greed out of the market if you're going in the market with anger you're gonna get anger out of the market so the input that you put in is the same it is basically what what's gonna get you out yeah, the way that you walk in is the same way that you're going to come out of the market. I know people that took hundred thousands of their own money, put it into trading because of the arrogance and that says, I want to make quick money. And the same arrogance that they use is the same arrogance that they get out of the market. So what I'm saying is that I'm not uh, personally, personally, I'm not someone that believes that that whenever something works quickly, works quick, um, pays out consistently. Do you understand? So whenever you're getting on your trading account, care less. The ex Make sure, guys, forget about the money. Once, guys, trust me, I need, uh, I need you guys to please try whatever that I'm telling you. Spend more time on analyzing and care less on the market change your mindset on the market right change your mindset about life as a whole right the influences that are around you change that too because the only time you can become a, a good forex trader is with a clear mind you cannot become a, a, a good forex trader with stress or with whatever state of emotion that you're going through so make sure that your mind is clear totally clear when you get into the market so when you're getting into the market make sure that you're not trying to show your neighbor that you can buy a car in the next coming two months make sure that you're not trying to show your ex-girlfriend or your ex-boyfriend that you, you can buy a car or you can look better you can do what in the next coming two months whenever you get into trading forget about the money Simply take this. Tell yourself that if you trade according to the rules, you'll get a, fu uh, a fulfilling life. Do you understand? Make sure of that. Honestly, I get people that come to me and say, Ah, Joe, I want to show that girl. I want to show that guy. I want Guys, you need to understand that there's no one that's gonna stop their life just because they've messed you up it's not like someone is gonna get poor after they messed you up it's gonna be their loss yes i understand but they're not gonna die they're not gonna get poor so make sure that you focus mainly on yourself when you're getting into the market as well i i i dare you guys to forget about the money and i dare you guys to put in only practice of whatever strategy that you're gonna come across whether on media whether on private sessions whether you get I don't know whether you follow someone you subscribe to someone on uh, YouTube or whatsoever but I dare you guys to forget about money because guys trading is mainly a click of a button the rest of the things is just your emotions that get involved and tickle your 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 your, your trading uh, routine it's almost impossible to never be emotional about a trade tom am i lying uh do you know why you get emotional when you go on a trade is that the state of mind that you are in when you get on a trade is not clear first of all you are so scared to a point where if the trade does not go your way or if the trade goes your way, but you still get less out of the same trade that went your way, 
that's that's the kind of emotions that pop up in your mind so you need you need to have a clear mind when you're getting into trading when you get into a trade you simply click a button with the proper and lowest lot size that you can find on your trading device whether you're trading with your laptop or whether you're trading with your phone find the lowest 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 lot size that you can use whenever you're trading on the market and that's when you know that that's that's how perfect uh that's how perfection come from right three months of guys if, if you got a for example if you got a um a 500 account you're literally trading a 500 account with only 0.01s and you're taking one trade per pair that you're trading do you think you're gonna blow an account by then do try leave three months to practicing the strategy that you that you, that you know and leave the other months that are coming after that for returns that's basically getting profits out of that so when you get your trading account forget about the return that you can get make sure make it seem like the money that you're trading is, is not your money make make it seem like the money that you're trading is not your money it's someone else's money but you just don't want to blow it so that's exactly how you're going to respect, respect your trading account guys your emotions you need to have a clear mind when you come on the market the market doesn't want people that come here and think that this is a game guys this is not a game this is the largest market in the entire world right we have banks we have insurance companies we have thousands thousands ten hundred thousands of retail traders on the market so your emotion is one person is not going to change uh how the market actually moves in its own patterns you need to get your mind and your emotions out of the market forget about money please forget about money forget about forget about how much you can uh you know how i know that already as a mentor i, I get a lot of people actually that approach me and they tell me um okay if i start trading now with ten thousand bucks how much do you think it's going to be in the next coming two months i already know that that, that ten thousand bucks account is going to be blown that's going to be blown if you tell if you ask yourself if i fund my trading account with a hundred dollars how much do you think i can have in two months or how much do you think i can have in six months that's how you're gonna blow that account forget about how much you're gonna have put in more work and practice lower your lot size low your emotions trust me guys your emotions are not gonna be as highly involved as they are if you're using lot sizes that are low according to your trading account your trading balance use the lowest lot size and see there will be no emotion there will all there was there will obviously be greed involved sorry about that there will obviously be a lot of uh greed involved in the market but one thing you need to know is that your emotions are not going to be involved all right <laughs> I just need to plug this in. I don't even know if it's much more better now. Simple as that. Simple as that, guys. As you can see, I got charts here. My on the back here it's patterns that i have here just to keep on reminding myself why i'm doing what i'm doing and why i actually started doing what i'm doing so guys you need to involved your involve your emotions a bit less on the market don't look at how much return you can get from your account balance that's the money that you are doing and the biggest mistake that you can also do is that people if if, if you borrow money so you can start trading 
already automatically your trading account is going to be blue because why the pressure that you are going to be putting on yourself is going to get you to move out of um it's going to get you to move out of the plan that you were supposed to trade with so what i can simply say is that you guys need to trade with money that you're willing to lose as well don't sell your fridge so you can fund the trading account obviously you're gonna push so that you can get money from your trading account so that the food don't get rotten <laughs> right so what's your questions guys keep them coming keep them coming so uh, to the beginner traders that have been listening to me now um, did you guys understand everything that I told you I hope you guys heard I know there's gonna be one or two people that that, that are gonna actually pick up from uh, what I just said now and there's gonna be people that are gonna laugh about it and there are gonna be people that are gonna make money out of it so it's it's your choice guys <laughs> honestly it's your choice okay let me ask you a question um someone is asking me can I trade Ness with 500 bucks right should I be honest to you and say when you're trading Ness with 500 bucks first of all before we go far you need to identify that, you, that whatever that you are doing has a calculated risk that you are taking now I'm speaking from a personal perspective and I say that uh, if you're trading Ness with 500 bucks, the, the, the first thing that pops out of my mind is that you, 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 you chose Ness because you have saw that Ness makes quick money, right? Automatically, there will be no risk that you are going to take when you are going on there you're gonna go on ness 100 with that 500 account you're gonna click on five trades you're gonna open five trades with 0.01s waiting for them to reach 2k your account is gonna get blown you're gonna continuously do that whatever pair that you're trading make sure that there's a calculated risk that you are taking one pullback if you're trading nasdaq with 500 bucks one pullback you're dead one pullback a simple pullback you're dead so what i can simply say is that Tradeness, if you have money to lose. <laughs> Simple as it. Tradeness, if you have money to lose. But teach yourself patterns of how the market moves and try your best to find the currency pair that has the lowest spreads. Try it. Because uh, the same patterns that are cured on NAS 100 is the same patterns that are cured on, 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 on currency pairs. You understand? Double tops, double bottoms. We get head and shoulder formations. We got. Uh, market retesting necklines and so on that's the same patterns that um, that's the same patterns that are kill on, 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 on currency pairs so I say first start with currency pairs as they have a calculated risk that can be used so what you can simply do is that you can get a currency pair that you like trade it with 0 0.01 see if the patterns that you know can be applied properly on the market see if you know a double bottom see if you know a double top see if you know a head and shoulder formation see if you know a triple bottom a triple top uh, market breaking retesting necklines see if you know those things then once you know that you do know them you can grow that capital from trading currency pairs withdraw a couple of funds from that account put it into an s100 account and then you can do whatever you want with it but you know there's going to be an account that you are respecting according to a calculated risk um yeah that's how it goes guys trading if you want to come uh, with your thousand bucks account, you want to fund a trading account, you got a thousand bucks, fund trading account, go on NASDAQ. There's no calculated risk on NASDAQ. If NASDAQ doesn't go your way, if you get one pullback, you're going to be kicked out. Obviously, if you put your stop loss, even before it gets to your stop loss, you're going to be blown out. Because of why? Because of the, of the high 
uh, volatility that it makes in the market uh, <laughs> yeah but I, I can say that honestly I can say that guys trading is a job it's not a trading is not a get rich quick scheme trading is not for you to be in a verpa in the next coming three months trading is a job trading is a business it's something you need to be built while doing it it's not something that's gonna make you quick money it's not something that's gonna get you expensive clothes get that out of your mind and take trading as a career why do most people um you you've been in 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 in, in varsity for example you've been in varsity for like three years you're about to go to your fourth year. You hear about trading. You drop out of varsity. You want to get into trading. You put your money there. You expect to get returns in the next coming two months. The same mindset that you had when you went to varsity is that there will be a time where you are learning and there will be a time that you are working and earning from that, right? So apply the same mindset on trading. Tell yourself there's going to be months where you're learning, you're writing exams about your trading. And then after you have passed those exams, that's when you're going to start making money. That's the reason when a lot of people come to me and ask me, uh, Kate, do you mainly trade current space or do you mainly trade uh, indices or do you mean, guys, I trade something that has a calculated risk. Simple as that. You can only trade NAS 100 with a 500 rand account if you know what you're doing. But if you're still a newbie, don't trade it. What I can simply say is that whether you know what you're doing or whether you don't know what you're doing, my brother, trading is trading. Ask yourself why are they, why is, 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 is the trader that you follow, one of the biggest traders still getting a loss because of no one moves the market. You don't choose where the market is going. So the minute you're jumping onto pairs like that, Just know that there's a 50-50 zone that you're going to make it. Some did. I must say. I can't lie. There's a 50-50 zone that you're going to make it. And there's a 50-50 zone that you won't make it. So put yourself in the middle of the line and tell yourself I might make it, I might not make it. But if you want to do the real deal, you only learn first. You only learn first before you can start earning from that. Honestly, I don't lie. I, I don't want to lie. You need to learn first before you can start earning. There's guys. There's there's there's, there's no way. There's no way. There's totally no way that you're gonna have a shortcut on your journey to your success. There's no way. You can try whatever you want on the market. You can. Try indicators, you can try systems, you can try naked, you can try what. There's no way that you are going to cut your journey to success short. There's no shortcut. You need to go through the journey of learning. And that's it. And that's it. That's it. Nothing is going to change. My, my perspective today. Nothing is going to change. My perspective. You need to go to the, through the process of learning. Before you can actually start uh getting paid simple as it simple as it you need to start learning guys let's be honest my guy how many of y'all are still blowing accounts currently and how can you stop that uh the they they they're never going to stop that. They're never going to stop blowing accounts if they don't change their mindsets. They're never going to stop blowing their accounts if they don't change their mindsets. Simple as it. Out of all of the people that are here, maybe two, three, four will listen and stick to it and become great, come back. And the rest will just keep on doing what they're doing, thinking they're going to get rich quick. Keep on blowing your accounts. We'll meet you somewhere along the way. Because... If your mindset doesn't change, trading is not for you. Your personality, your character, not for trading. Sorry, my guy. 
find an, find something else to do maybe have a life can make you money there's people that become uh, millionaires out of that there's a whole lot of things that you can do but trading if, if you can't change that mindset forget trading is not gonna work for you sorry you're gonna feel like there's gonna be someone that's witchcrafting you <laughs> because it's simply because of your own mistakes that you make honestly honestly Not everyone is going to make it in trading. You need to select yourself that you want to win in trading. You select yourself by analyzing yourself. Analyzing the type of person that you are. Um, yeah. Simple as that. Can, can NAS signal groups work with 500 ZA? Uh, my guy, I don't know if, if you only joined the live video now or what. But yeah, it's... It's honestly um, my my own mindset when it comes to trading, when it comes to the people that I come across, the people that have been blowing accounts for for the past four years. It's simply because you you can't follow rules, but it doesn't mean that you're a bad person because you can't follow rules. Now that I told you, try what I'm telling you, and come back to me and tell me how is that gonna change. Your trading journey. Open one trade per uh, pair that you're trading. Simple as that with the lowest lot size. Simple as that. Try that for, the, for three months in a row. You are going to make something. But one thing you're going to get mostly out of that in that three months is that we take 90 days to... Uh, we take 90 days to get used to a habit so if you try your um um if you try your your trading strategy for three months with the lowest lot size and you see that you're being consistent for the next coming three months that's when you can op when you can start opening up your lot sizes and so simple as it What uh, what would you do? What would you do a guide in changing your mindset? The first thing that you can do when you want to change your mindset, the first thing that you want to do when you want to change your mindset, the easiest thing for you to do when you want to sh change your mindset. Be yourself. Don't try to be your mentor. Be yourself. Simple as it. What you know, be yourself. Forget about the things that you see on social media, guys. Social <laughs> Social media honestly is 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 how you take it. It's social media can either kill you or make you. Honestly. Social media can either kill you or make you. Social media can either kill you or make you. Simple as that. Social media as a trader can either kill you or make you. Simple as that. Can make you wiser. You can be following the right people. That's, that's, that's making you better. That's, that's where you get motivation on a daily basis. That's, you're not fighting with someone on social media. If, 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 honestly, social media is, is, is going to mess up. It's going to fuck your minds up. Social media is going to fuck your minds up. If you're, if you're a trader, don't try to see what the next trader did. Don't, what if they, they, they took that same order, it went their way. Sorry about that, guys. Um, what if they took the same order, it went their way. Only to find that it went their way once. The, the, the things that we do on the market is because we got the money to lose. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it. That's it, honestly. 
So yeah, guys. Uh, what's your other question? But uh, but what I can simply say is that, what I can simply say is that guys, forget about social media. That's the main biggest problem we have that cripples the psych the, the, the psychology of most beginner traders. That's where they get lost. I will tell you. I I tell I tell you straight to the core. That please focus on your own progress. What I made, I made it. You didn't make it. You you didn't make it. What I made, I made it. It's my money. I can do anything I want with it. Same applies to you. Have a have a wall around your money. It's yours. It's not social media's. You don't need to strangle yourself so you can post the next day. That's when you're not forcing. That's when you know you know something. That's when you know you're doing something. That's when you're not forcing. At what point did you notice you were making progress? Uh, when when we when we get into trading, um, we we get um, we get we get obsessed, right? When you get into trading, you get obsessed. The minute you get obsessed, obsession leads to the question. Obsession leads to the next question. When will I make it? When will I start making money? When will I be consistent? You will be consistent if you stop thinking about money. You will be consistent if you risk less. You will be consistent if you follow your trading plan. That's the only time you're going to be consistent. You're going to be consistent if you care less. Because the less you care, the less emotions are going to be involved in your trading, simple as that. So, the, if you do, trust me, do what I'm telling you to do. Come back to me and you'll tell me. Uh, bro, you spoke like Q Bank. It shows it's true. My guy, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> the other, the other thing is, I don't trade alone if. I don't want to emotional. You don't want to be emotional. Yeah, that can be something that you can do. Get a group of guys. Get a group of friends of yours um, that you, you know different. You know different. Um, you have different knowledge on the market. You're all beginners. Simply just combine your knowledge. Trade together. Try to soften each other's emotion state as you're trading together because if if one guy in a group can actually tell the other guys that guys let's not be emotional guys let's use l less uh, risk management yeah then that's that's gonna be good because you know when you're alone you can't handle your emotions and that's exactly how you blow an account and trust me believe me believe me or not the minute you're gonna actually start stop caring less the minute that you're going to start using the the lowest lot size is the minute you, that you're going to make it can you see it's it's not that difficult is it it's not that that difficult people are in forex uh, into forex for money and it's said they will go home disappointed I don't even know what to say anymore I honestly don't even know what to say anymore what the mindset that people have like they they, they honestly can't they, they honestly can't do anything about that let me start taking people in Let me see. So, first guy that I'm taking, I don't know why this thing keeps on falling like that. Oh, yeah, I'm going to start taking. Hey, yo, hey, okay, fine. How are you, brother? How's it? I'm good, I'm good. And you? I'm good, thanks, man. What's up? What's your question? Uh, nothing much, bro. I just saw your post right now. The oh. one you said about, the one you said about paragraphs about how we should treat the women who, you know, 
who was uh, who was with us in the oh, beginning yeah, yeah. you know uh, uh, yeah it inspires me bro you inspire me big bro away brother away 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 no one yeah, no really... around <laughs> Yeah, the one who made me look at the market actually I didn't know forex until I knew you bra. Mm-hmm. Oh so I'm the one that actually made you get involved into trading. Yeah. I would say I would say good luck my brother. I would say good luck and Thanks, try, your best. try your best. Try your yeah, best. Yeah, I will. Try I will. Now I'm slaughtering it bra. Because of you I'm slaughtering the market right now. Away. <laughs> Try your best. I'll, I'll post as much information as I can share, and then the rest what? of the year we'll see from there. I say I'll post as much as as much information as I can share, so that you guys can okay. learn from that as well. And then yeah, we'll go on from there. Okay. No. Okay. Cheers, my brother. Away, away. Peace. Yeah, right i'm taking people in now um unfortunately where i'm staying guys think forecast is a scam so i have to trade alone um yeah trading alone is is also not a problem but i'm saying just get much more control over your trading and don't let your trading control you and then automatically you're going to see care less Care less, trust me when I say care less. Care less. Uh, um, do you trust a software? Guys, there's different ways of trading the market. I, I, I honestly won't lie. and the only reason of why traders become different is because of their uniqueness on the market everyone simply have uniqueness you understand we can have the same trading uh, uh, account size but yours grows faster mine grows slower that's because of the different conditions we trade on the market so personally as a trader I would say I'm not down I'm not going to downgrade anything. There are people that are actually making a lot of money from softwares. Um yeah, but according to me, you still need to go through the process. Whether you're going to be using a software or you, whether you're not, lot sizes are still going to matter, risk management is still going to matter and One thing I can tell you is that there is not shortcut no shortcut to your success. Simple as it. Simple as that. So yeah guys, uh what's up? I've been live, eh? Been live. My Sunday just like pushed the time a bit. What do you recommend for guys that are still in school? I want to trade to fund my business. Okay, it it depends on how long are you willing to wait for your business to become successful. That's my first question to you. Because if if you're looking at your business to stand fully tomorrow, or in the next coming 3 months or 2 months that means your trading is going to is going to suck so how long are you willing to take how long are you willing to wait so that you can fund your business through trading cuz you might find that you want your business to stand now cuz you're trading only to find that your trading is going to suck and you'll never see your business cuz why <laughs> you If you're not yet successful in trading, you're not gonna make money. If you're not yet consistent, you're not gonna make money. 
So it's not going to be a quick thing. It's not going to be a double up. Even trading is going to be the same thing. Uh, the same process that you are going to be going through as you're starting your business is the same process that you're going to be going through as you're starting your trading account. So nothing is going to make the other one easier because trading for you to be consistent, it needs the same amount of effort that you, that you are going to get or that you are going to take out when you start your, your, your business. So you first need to love trading before you love the business that you want to start. It should be just a goal that you want to achieve. But the main goal is what you need to do now. Because guys, uh, most people actually have a problem because they focus more on what they need to um, what they need to Okay, we'll get to that a bit later on. Let's continue with that. I'm willing to wait for more than one year. If you're willing to wait for more than one year, then get into trading. Practice your trading. Practice the strategy. Be patient. And that's it. And that's it. That's it, guys. I'm not sure if I'm going to save this live video. Uh, maybe make another one. Sometime, wait, let me see. So yeah, guys, do you guys see the kind of mindset you need to have in trading? It's not easy, right? I got one minute remaining. Let me just cancel this guy. I got one minute remaining on my live video because uh, I've been here for long. Now it's been like, count the pips, not the money. Once you know how to count the pips, then you'll know how to count the money. Guys, if, if your mindset is wrong, your trading account is also going to be wrong. And you're going to blow that trading account. You're going to blow it. When I really we don't wish you good, you're going to blow it. <laughs> but the ones that they want to go through the process, I'm with you guys. I'm with you. Honestly. I'm with you guys and I know that you guys will make it. Because that's the psychological part that you have to come across before you become a consistent trader. Simple as that. Simple as ABC. Change your lifestyle, my nigga, and you become a good trader. With the lifestyle you're living, you're not going to become a good trader. It's just, there's too much pressure around you. And when you got too much pressure, you make wrong decisions. I, guys, there's people that hang themselves just because they can't, they can't make money out of trading. Because that's weak people. Trading is not for weak people. Trading is not for people that give up easy. Trading is for... Trading is for... Is in just a game. <laughs> so guys, I got 10 seconds remaining on the live shout